Hi my family, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome and don't forget to subscribe and be part of Didi family. But today I'm going to talk about a new product for me, but it's not new out there, but I'm going to talk about JCAT Prismetallic Chrome Eye Mousse. Now I did order all of the 18 shades, unfortunately I just received 16, so I'm missing two shades, but I'm going to go and talk about what I think about these and talk about how I created this beautiful makeup look. So if you're interested to see that, then please keep on watching. First of all, look at my Christmas tree <laughs> and I have nice earrings also. It's for the Christmas or winter. I bought this set on HIM and uh, I got all of these for $10. I think it's around $10. It's 99 Swedish crowns. And I think they're so cute. I'm going to wear them definitely this month. I also have the NYX Cosmetic Metals in number eight shade, can't pronounce the name. But I do have review of all of the metallic NYX lipsticks on my channel if you want to see that. My hair is so frizzy today, I just washed it, but don't mind. Okay, go into this product, into these products. So, this is how the packaging looks like. It's so beautiful, it has like a chrome shift to it. And it says GK Beauty Prism Metal Eye Mousse offers maximum metallic foil effect that creates unique look. Let the holo holographic metal shimmer do the magic on your eyes. Now, I've seen Tati review this product on her channel for months and months ago. And I really, really wanted to try these, but they unfortunately won't get them here in Sweden. But Coco Panda, a website named Coco Panda, got these. And of course, I ordered all of the 18 shades. Unfortunately, I received, received all of them except two, and I do miss the Champagne Whiz and Coil Braid. That's the two shades I didn't get, and I did contact them, so ho hopefully they will send me them, or I will order them again, because these are the most metallic eyeshadows that I've ever, ever seen. I have very oily eyelids, but these stay on my eyelids the whole day. I really, really enjoy these. They are so easy to blend together and create that nice ombre look. You're going to see me apply these on my eyes. I'm going to go into every step how I create this makeup look. This was three minutes. Three minutes makeup look, not more. This is amazing, beautiful. If you haven't tried them, please do that. They're not expensive. They're very affordable. I think, I can't remember what's the price, I don't have the price on them, but I will put the price on the screen. And uh, they are not expensive, they are beautiful, and there are so many shades here to choose from. All of them are nice. So, let's go through my makeup look, makeup look, yes, let's go through my makeup look and uh, every step, and then I will swatch these for you guys. So, let's go. The first what I did is that I took this palette from Ultra Eye Contour Light and Shade from Revolution. I really like this palette. So what I did is I did use my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer and then I went over with P. Louise eyeshadow base because I'm playing with it a little bit and um, I have a review of that on my channel. That didn't really work out for me as I expected, so I'm trying the ways to use it because I really love how it created this nice, that nice base for my eyeshadows. But I went with this shade first in my crease and I kind of set the base. Then I went in with this shade here and uh, blended that into my crease and kind of uh, to created that nice depth that I want to. Then I went into this darkish brown in the edge, just in the corner to create that nice deep corner. I know how to say it, but I just uh, tapped it with my Anastasia brush and then 
when I was happy how it looked, I blend I blended it into my crease a little bit to make that nice transition from light to dark shade. Then I went in with this shade from uh, Metals Prism Metal eyeshadow, it's gray later, and I went in with my fingers. And guys, that's the best way to apply this. I think the brush kind of crum crumbles them a little bit because they are very soft, they're moussey. Uh, and I, you can go in with the brush, but I think the finger works better. So I went with the shade and I kind of tapped it in there in the corner and tried to blend it a little bit. Then I went in with this beautiful, beautiful orangey shade that it's called Orange You Happy. And I've kind of I blended that into the middle of my eyelid and blended it in with this shade gray later. And if you can see, it kind of created that nice ombre look. Then I went in with Chrome Galaxy. Oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. And of course, you can build it up and make it more wet looking and metallic. And I blended that in the orange shade with my finger. And then I went in with this beautiful yellow shade called Electra and put that into the corner with my brush. And see, I think the brush kind of, I don't know, I don't like, I, I, pref I prefer using this with the fingers, but couldn't use it with my nails. And uh, blend that in there. Then into my lower lash line, I went in first with this beautiful green Forest Night. And I did went with the brush that I bought from Linda Halbert 305 and kind of smoked that in the corner. And then I went in with this beautiful shade. I mean, all of them are beautiful, but this is kind of like a metal shade. This is Houdini. It's, I think, one of my favorite shades. And put that in the middle of my eye, also with the same brush. And then I went back with the Electra and kind of Blended that down here to create a make nice ombre look. Then I went in and um, blended my crease a little bit more just to make that more seamless look. And then I went just a little bit into this black shade in the palette to kind of dark the outer corner. And then I went in with this shade here and uh, had it under my eyebrows and the makeup look was done. It was that simple. So, what, three minutes at most. And now I'm going to go in and swatch all of the shades so you can see how they look. And oh my God, I love this. So let's go in to the swatches. So let's go with the swatches. I'm going to swatch first all of the shades that I had on my eyes. They're all very moussey, but be careful. They are crumbly, but it's such an interesting texture. Oh, I love this. So we have gray later. Then we have orange you happy, chrome galaxy, and Electra. Then we have Forest Night, Houdini, Pixie Dust, Sorcerer, I think it's called. Beautiful. I feel like camera kind of washes out how beautiful these are. It doesn't want to show how metallic they are, but they are very easy to build up. Though you need to be careful, like I said, so you don't uh dive very hard just try to build them up more a little bit they are crumbly but they are so beautiful of course it's a mousse so then we have dreamer beautiful blue shade and one of my favorite also is gor holography types you can also lay this one over another of course, you can lay them over each other and create that nice ombre look. This one is Fiery Bolt, beautiful red shade. And we have Attraction, very, very nice pink. 
And the last four shades that I have here, it's popping locking, kind of purple, but also green and blue shift to it. Then we have below zero, a beautiful shade. Also tricky jester, this yellow gold shade and pinky promise. This one kind of stayed my finger, I don't know if you can see. These are beautiful. So that's all of the 16 shades that I got. I didn't got cold, cold braid and champagne whisk. So hopefully I will get them soon, but these are amazing. You have to buy one and see if you like it. If you do, get more because these are so beautiful. And I'm very happy how this makeup look turned out. And um, shimmery, Christmas, New Year's Eve, maybe some metallic here that you can use for your Christmas or any holiday makeup look. So guys, that was everything. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up so you know you so I know you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!